Hello, and welcome to Form Doctor. We are proud to be your HIPAA-compliant online forms provider. This onboarding guide details all of the unique features and capabilities of your Form Doctor account. Let's get started. Account Setup First, let's ensure your account information is correct. The account name, phone number, and reply to email address will be seen by your patients when emailing and texting forms, as well as when patients choose to save and continue later. To see your account information, click the My Account tab and then Location. Here, review the account name, phone number, and reply to email address. Ensure that your personal email and personal phone number are not listed. These are only for your business's contact information. If changes were made, click Update Account to save. Next, navigate to Account and confirm the information here is also correct. This is where the account admin's information is located and can be updated. For account details, click My Account and then Subscription. Displayed here are the number of packets and users included with your subscription, along with the remaining storage space. Adding users. Are there other team members who need access to your Form Doctor account? Depending on the access granted to an assistant user, they can send forms to patients, view completed patient submissions, and export patient data. You can also set up a user to manage forms. To invite colleagues as users, go to the My Account page. Click on Users. From the Users tab, click Invite a User. Enter a user's first name, last name, and email address. Access can be granted to several key features beneath the question, what does this user have access to? Typically, for most staff members, we recommend granting access to the following four capabilities. View patient data. Modify patient data. Send forms to patients. And records. These four capabilities give colleagues everything needed to send and receive forms, as well as view the completed submissions. Records are archived patient submissions and can be found under the Records tab. If there is an office manager or a colleague who might be running the account on your behalf, consider activating their right to manage forms and packets, as well as activating the full administrative privileges feature. Manage Forms and Packets gives permissions to update packets and is helpful if forms need to be added, required fields need to be adjusted, or if the text on the form should be revised. Full Administrative Privileges offers access to a wide range of administrative functions, including subscription information and adding or removing users on the account. If a colleague leaves or a new person joins your team, giving full administrative privileges is helpful when managing employee access. Additional permissions include access to the Integration tab. This allows users to integrate your account with third-party applications to export patient data, connect via API, and sync information to other services. Hide My Account hides the entire My Account section from the user's view when they're working in the Form Doctor account. If desired, Form Doctor can convert PDF and Word documents into online forms on your behalf. By default, users who have access to manage forms and packets can upload files for our form building team to convert. The Hide File Convert button removes the ability for a user to upload documents for this form building process to occur and therefore restricts the user from incurring any additional charges on the account. Once all the capabilities and features you wish to grant to the user have been selected, simply click the Send Invite button. The user will receive an email with instructions that must be completed in order to activate their account. If the user does not receive this email, please ask them to check their spam folder, or you can simply revoke the invitation and send again. How to edit forms. If form edits are needed, go to the My Forms tab. Next, click the three dots on the far right-hand side of the packet name. Now, click Edit Forms. This opens the form builder. From here, you can build, stylize, and publish forms. The first page allows you to add forms. If additional forms are needed in the packet, you can build forms from scratch or import and edit any of our templates. You can also import a copy of an existing form, as well as upload a Word or PDF document for our form building team to convert. 
If no additional forms are necessary, click Next to Build on the bottom right-hand side of the page. This page is the Form Builder. Here you can edit your forms. Click the arrows on the tab next to the page to rearrange the page order. Widgets can be added by dragging and dropping those into the form area. Simply drag and drop existing questions by selecting and holding the pencil icon. To make a field required, hover over it and click the orange pencil. The very first option is for setting this field as required. Once designated, it will turn orange and a red asterisk will appear so that you and the patient will know it is required. Click Done and the required designation is saved. Patients or clients will not be able to submit the forms unless all required fields were completed. Use this same process when editing any text. Click the orange pencil. This is a normal text editor. Simply type to add or delete text. Click the Done button to save changes. Once all changes have been made, click Next to Style in the bottom right-hand side of the page. Now it's time to style and brand the packet of forms. On the Style page, you can upload a logo, add your brand colors, and customize the look of your forms. Once finished, click the Next to Publish button, and then the My Account button at the bottom right-hand side of the page. This publishes all changes and returns you back to the Send and Receive page. A tip to always remember is that a form packet is set to draft, meaning changes have been made, but have not been published. Be sure to publish your form packet before exiting the builder. Embed forms onto your website. To embed forms onto your website, go to the My Forms page. Click the three dots to the right-hand side of the form packet's name, then select Settings. From the Settings page, there are two different options in regards to code for your website. When the patient clicks this link on your website, the packet of forms opens in a new browser window, just like this. The second option is an embed code, which is equivalent of copy and pasting your forms directly onto your website. If there is a web developer helping to manage your website, Enter their email address to send them both codes and they can help you decide which piece of code is best for your website's design. To use the QR code, select Download or click Print. After you have downloaded the QR information or copied the code, click Close. Displaying the QR code in your office allows patients to scan the QR code with their device's camera, which immediately opens the forms on the device's web browser and your patients can simply sign, complete, and submit. Sending pre-filled forms. This feature is useful in many ways. One example is, let's suppose you'd like to send a financial agreement form with unique billing amounts to the patient. With pre-filled forms, you can. From the My Forms page, each one of your packets has its own unique URL. Click on the desired link, and the form packet opens in a new browser window. The Form Doctor logo and the Send Forms button are only visible when logged into a Form Doctor account. These are never displayed to patients. To send a pre-filled form, type the patient's name in the Patient Name field and complete the additional fields you would like to pre-fill. Then, click the Send Forms button in the top right corner of the screen. Next, enter a security code and code hint. Once the patient receives the form, they can simply enter the security code to see the pre-filled information. Sending forms. Go to the Send and Receive page to send forms. From here, fill out the boxes for your patient's contact information. Then select the packet you'd like to send. Just a text message or just an email can be sent. Or you can send both at the same time. The choice is always yours to make. Adding an appointment date and time, along with the automatic 24-hour reminder, are optional features. However, we recommend implementing these features as part of your standard process. To begin, select the day and the time. A reminder notification text and or email will be sent if the patient has not filled out the forms within 24 hours before this date and time. If you do not want to send any additional email or text reminders, uncheck the box. When ready, click the Send Forms button. Receiving Forms After the forms have been sent, 
The current status is found in the Receive Forms area. Here, the patient's name, the name of the form packet, as well as the timestamp of when it was originally sent is documented. The status of not opened means the form was successfully sent, but the patient has not yet opened the forms. Once the patient clicks on the link, this updates to opened. With this feature, account users can easily keep track of who has and who has not opened your forms. Now, the forms are literally in the patient's hands to complete. Patients will need to enter their name and complete all of the required fields in the form packet. If they don't have all of their health information on hand, they can scroll to the bottom and click Save and Continue Later. They will enter their email, create a passcode, and the submission status in your account changes from Open to Saved Progress. This lets you know that the patient is working on the forms but has not yet completed them. Card Upload Form For gathering a photo of an insurance card or ID, a patient can upload images while using a computer. With a smart device, such as a smartphone or tablet, patients can upload a photo or click on the form to open the camera on their device and simply take a picture of the required insurance and ID cards. Electronic Signatures For completing signatures with a smart device, such as a smartphone or tablet, patients can simply sign with their finger or a stylus. If the patient is using a computer when signing their signature for consent, they can use their mouse. Once the patient submits forms, you have the option of directing them back to your website or to a custom thank you page. At this time, all account users of your Form Doctor account will receive a new submission notification email informing that a new submission is ready in the account for review. Finding a submission. To log into the account, enter your email address and password. The latest submissions can be found in the Send and Receive area. Completed submissions are highlighted in dark blue. After clicking on a submission, you can review the completed information. If any images were uploaded, click on the image to view it. From here, download the image to save or print. A record can be saved as a CSV or a PDF. It can also be printed. The PDF button downloads all of the forms in the packet into one file. If only one page is needed, simply click the print button and hide the undesired pages. The final step is to archive a submission to the patient's record. Simply click the Archive button to relocate it from the Send and Receive page. It is now stored under the Record tab of the account. This allows for a streamlined workflow, with only the most recent and pending submissions being visible in the Send and Receive area. Records Records is a perfect solution for primary or secondary storage needs. All submissions are found here, and it's where records can be downloaded or printed. To delete a record, click Select and then designate the record. From here, the record goes into the trash, where you have the options to either restore or delete permanently. While an account is active with Form Doctor, we do not delete any records. All records, record keeping, and record storage maintenance is at your discretion. Integration. On the integration page, connect your account with third-party applications. Export patient data by connecting to the Form Doctor API and sync information to other services. Support. For general questions and answers on how to use your account, please go to My Account and click on the Support tab. Search our Q&A guide or submit your questions and our support team will respond back with an answer. Thank you for your time. Welcome to Form Doctor.